one Undead Mirror, right? Yeah. Now it could have been two if they meet again in the Grand Final. That would have sucked. But that did not happen. WFZ out, the first player to be out. And now we have the second one to depart us here. Looking at um, this bracket, looking at the names previous to today, we were kind of expecting 1-0 to zero versus live in the Grand Final. How likely do you think that's going to be? Excuse me, I'm still tinkering with uh, the overlay. Oh, oh okay. Um, to give the well, people... it's a... Little... Uh... It's an Earth Mirror, of course. AZ, we've seen this a lot of times. Oftentimes will lead to Bear Mirror. This is a pretty good map for it. Open space, hard to creep without bears. Ancients of War have to walk forever. And so on. We see some pocket strats every now and then. The Shredder push with Archer and Naga that we like to refer to. I haven't seen that one in a very long time, though. So maybe it's been figured out too well. People don't do it anymore. You said Chichi. Likes to go for the talent play. Oh, and he denied the big renegade with a lightning shield. It has happened. The first time today. Congratulations to life. Um, yeah, we didn't see it because, like, I have to put in the password again. <clears throat> it's fine, though, because uh, she, she, he denied one of the creeps as well. It was not the renegade, but it was, I don't know. That was confusing, dude. He was showing the other creep camp, but he was showing the experience of the other demon hunter. So I was getting confused. No, um, it turns out she, she actually can creep well. Life can too, but here he messed it up a little bit. Luba Band gifted a sub to Random4S. How nice of nice. you. Thank, Thank you. you. And welcome. Dude, the, the last cast I did, there was this one guy, Mac Daddy Jr., who gave out like 15 subs or something. Holy shit. Well, he, yeah. Did he win the lottery or something? That's nice of him. So we do have the colors now. And uh, we're kind of set. So he didn't knight the big one, you said? Yeah. Oh, man. Maybe getting a little nervous, but usually he should be too experienced, I guess, to be nervous. But yeah, life really doesn't strike me as the nervous player. He's always playing so confidently as well. It seems to me always like he feels he's the better player against almost everybody until he faces one to zero. In yeah, the, yeah, in those. I agree. Totally agree with that statement. So Shishi's going for a Huntress opening, which is also not normal at all. I mean, on Amazonia, it was quite normal in 2014 and 15, but nobody really did it anymore. Losing the last or the one archer he had. And what did he accomplish in this Raz? He killed one wisp, maybe two. But uh, that's it. And of course, his tech is uh, delayed a lot due to the Huntress Hall. Battle for the boots now. Should be the time. And yeah, Shishi got it. So quite a big investment into the early game with that Huntress uh, play and with boots. On the other side, we saw at least five archers, but a Huntress Hall. Usually, like, the number is four. Max that you go. Yeah, five is okay, I guess. Especially when you're going up against Hunts. Yeah, 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 I see. They do quite a bit of damage against them. But he can cancel the moon well here. So not... Is he supply stuck with that? Mm. We don't know. Oh, that would be annoying, right? Because yeah. tier two is about to finish. Yeah. Can't go for the second hero. If exactly. you're facing a Naga without the Naga, that's... So she's gonna play Naga though. Shishi would no, catch up to. a lot. Yeah, Shishi has to play Naga, that's for sure. That yeah, both matter. have to play Naga. I mean, it's a demon, of course. It's got to be the Naga. Well, you can still play Keeper. And we get a little break here. Oh, stressful early game uh, for us here, doing the production and, and catching up and stuff. But yeah, I think like. If your opponent goes goes for Huntress, you should have the time to go for the Keeper. Because he's slower anyway. Yeah, I guess the main thing here about when you're facing Huntress is, is you can't creep. It's too dangerous. Creep jacks, you're going to lose, lose your archers. Out of position once uh, they chase down your fragile little archers. About to be a little less fragile in the future. 
Good blocks from Shishi here, doing quite a bit of damage to the demon. And he gets another one. This demon hunter is fairly low, of course, with boots, he can run him down. Man, this wow. block is pretty insane. Now the sheep helps a little as well. And this demon hunter might be forced into a town portal here. Well done by Zhou Shishi. Dude, Shishi's playing so well today. He blocked him for like 20 seconds or so. You know how you could have prevented this, Neo? With boots, but... With boots of speed, oh yeah. yeah. But <laughs> were they in stock already? I don't know. So here's the Naga second for Shishi, gives the boots over to her. Yeah, but life is playing Keeper. Keeper or bears. pot him, that would be super weird, but we have seen that as well. So I guess in the end, we are going into Bear Mirror here with a little bit of deviation. Yeah. In the beginning, who is favored here? Who had the better early game? Um... I wouldn't say either one, really. Well, the town portal is gone, so that's a big one. He, the Naga should be better than the Keeper at the moment. And a, quite a big investment onto the Archers that will not pay off in the late game. So I do like Shishi's early a little more. Get another pickup here. And, of course, the Demon Hunter of Shishi is pretty insane with claws and slippers. Yeah. And boots. Like the boots on the Naga now, but you know what I mean. But life has the... Late game upper hand, the late game insurance with that Keeper of the Grove. Can he find the time? Can he get to 60, 70, bear supply, bear mirror, get that level 2 aura? If he does, he should be greatly favored. Alright, and quite some time to creep now. Can't be jacked. And item, let's grow the beast. Nah, of course you get raw later with the bears anyway. But this is level 3 for him, or it's gonna be close. Oh, pretty unlucky. Yeah, wasn't even close, Neo. <laughs> Come on. Next fight. So in the middle they meet. The first Dryad here makes a big difference. Dryad plus Entangle. Do they have to spell against that yet is the question. Do they have staffs? Demon dropping very low here for life, but he gets one uh, Huntress kill. Good micro on his Dryad. Pulling that back immediately. Nice kiting by life. He's gonna lose Archers here, but that's fine. They're gonna rotate out anyways. And yeah, the Naga this... with not too much of an impact here, I gotta say. Nope. Like the Keeper with his Entangle, so much better. And now he gets the counter TP on the one he lost earlier. And the Huntress as well. Dude, he got wrecked, man. He and... lost <laughs> all the hunts. Got maybe one Archer for it? Jesus. Yeah. That wasn't too good of a fight for him, for sure. But the Demon Hunter is low. He has a lot of watch awards, by the way. So a lot of control. Keeper can level solo now, and Keeper outshines the Naga late game by a lot. Yeah. With the Thorns Aura in Bear Mirror. We have seen crazy positionings. Wands of Illusion, Ancients of War, Bears just waddling around in the background, not doing anything. So it's, it's not guaranteed that you win just with a click. Yeah. With the Naga, of course, you are you are supposed to have a better focus. Um, you can slow down bears to lower their DPS as well. Row of the Magi is a little bit more. It's plus nine. Pretty significant buff on the Naga here with those items. Yeah, absolutely. The Keeper, I think, with his camp should be level 3 here, and that is truly going to be powerful in those bear engagements. Another sub gifted by Blubberband to Razor7. Thank you so much. Thank you. Shout out to Eastern Germany. And, of course, also part of our mod team, so big shout out for your work. Lionheart of Stormwind in Night of Mirror. What do you think about it? Well, it's a it's an aura for the bears, which is always decent. But that's the worst aura for the bears. But it's still decent. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think if you are at a point where you can trade it for a heal scroll or something, you can go for a heal scroll. Like if a final fight is close, I think you have this bigger impact. But if you can keep it for a bit, this item certainly has value. And if it's like two or three fights where you can carry it into 
Um, this can pay off. It's basically a half an upgrade. So it saves you about what, 125 resources or something, depending on the upgrade, of course. Yeah, it does a little bit. Um, armor upgrades, the better, the longer your units survive, the more hits they, you know, mitigate. And in Bear Mirror, the bears can sometimes survive for quite a while if there's Wisp <laughs> against Detonate, uh, against Roar and stuff. Red Spot creeps for both of them, of course. Big Auras here to find. Especially for movement speed and attack speed, that would be massive. Yeah, that would be the best, definitely. Whoop. <laughs> He's, try He's trying so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Hood of Cunning. Meh. That's pretty crap. I could be... What's the other one? What's the other one? Medallion. Both. Hood of Cunning is a for the demon. And if with that he like has more mana than the other demon and then can keep on burning more, it could be nice. But it's also a lot of gold. Yeah, on the other side, it's plus 13 intelligence now for the Naga. 600 and what the fuck? Once again, getting this commercial thingy here. Do play by play. Go, go, go. That's just uh, the last couple of creeps being taken out. But they see nothing right now, right? Nope. Now I'm trying to reconnect. The stream is okay. starting to lag pretty hard. Okay, there we go. Working Back again. again. So here comes the first big fight. Even the Shredder coming in. I think we have four bears for life. No, it's five. Against... It was six, but one has been staffed out on Shishi's side. And Tangles are getting dispelled. Only one Dryad, however. If that one falls for Shishi, it's going to be difficult. Invul popped in a very unusual moment here. Trying to go for a hero kill onto the Keeper, perhaps. Is Shishi with this? The Bears for life are at the moment with the upper hand. This could turn around, but will it really? Everything's so low here for Shishi. The Naga in trouble as well. One Bear after the next is getting taken out. The Shredder so much damage with that Roar as well. And this fight easily goes to life. Yeah, especially once the Naga was not able to do damage anymore. I mean, she has plus 13 plus raw on top of her, so huge damage from the second hero, but yeah, once she was forced... Uh oh Demon Hunter being caught there, but the snap is ready. Uh, once she was out, there was like no chance for Shishi anymore. There was no big chance for him prior to that, but... Once again, second time uh, in this game they fought, and second time life takes it quite easily. And now he has the big upper hand. 50 supply against whatever is uh, left of Shishi, which is not too much. And the late game star, which is uh, the Keeper of the Grove. Yeah. Uh, question is, where do you go from here? Sitting at 50, yeah. it's a time to expand, maybe. Just mass the upgrades. Stealing items from your opponent's shop could be pretty nice. Yeah, with the Demon Hunter for sure. Uh, he's tanky enough. Shishi can't risk too much at the moment. No TP, no items on his side. And he can use that time just for upgrades, I guess. He's getting ready for 70 supply. I'd love the ability to click on a bear now. But no. Don't know about the upgrades here. Well, the demon is getting close to 5. That's scary as well. Ooh, yeah. Yep. Zeppelins. Yes, yes, yes. So he might try to distract with the Demon Hunter solo. That's also nice when you're not facing a Keeper but a Naga. He can't lock you down. You can always tell his staff out. You can always be poking and prodding with the Demon solo. It looks like that's what he's doing. Invis as well. Oh shit, is that this one entrance? Is there the little Liot hole in the base? Oh, that could be good. That could be real good. I think it's the larger entrance though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a big entrance. Oh, yeah. But he knows that the bears are there, so it's not that easy to snipe the trip eternity. Good awareness by Shishi to oh, park. He gets his own Zeppelin as well. He has faced this before. But does he know? Did he see it? Oh my god, is he leaving the base? Yeah, that's what I thought. Like Oh no, that's the wrong time, my friend. <sighs> oh no. This is what? the worst call he can do right now. Oh, he's coming back though. He could have lost the game right there. The Invis Demon sees all of this. But I think he sees the other Zeppelin now as well. It's daytime. 
Should have seen it. Yeah, it certainly has now. Yeah. So this Zeppelin drop, not going to happen. All right, boys. Uh, we're in the most exciting stage of Night of Mirror. What and player is sitting inside the Zeppelin? Guess you have to and... go, or do you finish this? I have a little bit more time, I think. Right. What time is it? Um, <laughs> It's exactly five. I think this is going to go on for a while. I'm sorry for having to leave in the middle here, but I think I must. Neo, I wish you a pleasant day stream. Thank you very much. Um, we'll see you again in two days. Bye bye. Bye, Remo. Thank you for the stream. So, poor Remo has to work now. I did my shift today already, so I will stream uh, the remainder of this qualifier where we have, yeah, Zeppelin Wars. <laughs> of course, Shishi, uh, Shishi can't leave, but this, in theory, should be good for Shishi because there's no fight going on. He's trying to snipe the Zeppelin, and actually, is he... No way, this was so close. 100 HP only, and now, yeah, he has to TP out. Like, if he gets a few more shots out, then 50 supply just right out die. So this was well defended. It was super close. If he leaves his base, then... Um, of course, all bears tear down the tree of eternity. This is not ha this did not happen, as you saw. And in the meantime, I think Shishi was able to catch up. We have sixty six supply for our life against fifty still. Oh, he's banking on a thousand, but he has no lumber. Ay ay ay! He can't break this. This is bad as well. We have a hippo to cancel another zeppelin, but mm -mm. not a one trick pony. He tried it once, didn't really work, and now with a huge supply lead, Life should be able to take this home. He doesn't drop into the base, he just walks straight in. There's no raw yet. There we go. Forces a dispel, forces a lot of repair. But is it enough? I mean, we have siege bears. This should be quite a few upgrades on the bears. And he can't repair. Especially with the lack of lumber. He can't repair. We have a base race, everybody, but... Can they TP home somehow? Shishi is losing his main. Shishi is expanding, most likely, in the bottom at the 6 o'clock position. Lots of whiffs make the way over. Or should make their way over. Both players without income. Good prediction by Remo, by the way, saying this will go on for a while and then this happens. He wants to get rid of a lot of dryads here, getting the third one. Oh, he finds the building in the 6 o'clock. But there's another one here in the upper right. He saved one building. Life did. So can he still raise this? I'm not sh Okay, there are still a few buildings for Shishi. There's still a few wisps for Shishi. Does he have the lumber, though, is the question. Life certainly does. He doesn't have the gold. But he was able to rebuild the tree. And there's another tree as well. Both in range of the gold mine, so they're trading bases, actually. Everything is down or back to zero. But Shishi, only 42 supply. 60 for life. But there's a bear. Is this one bear able to kill the building? Shishi is not leaving his tree of life, that's for sure. With more than this one bear. Shredder sees the wisps. They have to evacuate once again. And both players are down to one build, two build, one building. Of course, this could be a draw right now because whoever leaves his base is losing most likely. The Shredder will be picked up. But he knows where the Naga is now. Maybe thinking, okay, if she's away from the base, can I attack? But no. Can he get them though? With the Keeper of the Grove. He's coming. He's in range. But there's no backup. He's still going for it. He got the Entangle down. There's no stat. There's no TP. There's no invul. There's another Entangle. He's walking out of range. Gets another slow out. There's the Entangle. And that's the level 4 Naga dead. Level 5 Demon Hunter as well. This could have been the move here. The heroes are far away from the main, though. Life can't leave his base. Almost losing the Zeppelin there. Shishi has two buildings. Life has one. He's moving out. At least with a bit. There's not much surface on this tree. So he can't attack with, like, what? Four bears? 
Raw being used again. Tree of Life is up. Moonwell is coming up as well. Oh my god. What a nail biter here between the two. But he's hugging again. He's hugging again and his heroes make the way over. Maybe one bear would have helped. Or the shredder. But he has to go all in now. He just has to with the heroes gone. It's gonna take a while to tear down the tree of life. With only the heroes and the dryads. But he will be able to do it. Will the bears be faster? That's the question now. The game will be decided in quite a bit. And here we go. If life is losing this tree, he's gonna lose the game. Bears everywhere. TP back from the Keeper of the Grove. The heroes are back. He's just right-clicking. There's no additional building for life. And they're still attacking. There's uh, no way to stop them. And GG, even without a GG. Shishi with a strike of genius. Winning this game, I did not expect this at all. That was... What a throw! I mean, <laughs> he just has to sit there and protect his tree. And he didn't. And actually, Zhou Shishi is one map away from the grand final. What an ending to this game. Why did life go without bears? That is kind of weird, to be honest. Like, if you want to kill buildings, you need bears. And you can slow down with dryads. You have anti-air with dryads. So why would you pull the dryads? I mean, of course they're slow. They're magic, uh, they're, they're, they're fast, they're magic immune, they can slow. And she, she wins this. Pretty sick ending. That's the sound from the observer, by the way. Thank you very much, Korak5, for the 500 bit cheer. What an ending, he says as well. Thank you, guys. But the dryads are not good in killing buildings. And that's what cost him the game. I thought. With life hugging his tree of life so much that there's not enough damage. But I mean, there was no counter threat. And if you lose three or four bears, it doesn't matter for Shishi at that point. Because if this doesn't succeed, he loses anyway. Right? When was the last draw in a professional game? I think this year, even. It happens quite a bit on some maps. We saw it uh, twice with Moon, I guess. But good question. I should know this. So the Chinese are in a little commercial break again. A pleasure, Drakta. Starcraft 2 had a draw. Nice. Haven't seen that there. Probably happens most often with Undead Mirror. Actually, it happens most often with Night Elf Human, I think. Or Night Elf Mirror. That's where I see it the most, or I saw it the most. So I'm a little bit confused because they're in the breaks again. And usually they finish the series. But I guess they didn't make it a best of one. Okay, so we're gonna have the second map soon. Of life versus she, she, most likely, hopefully. So I can set this up already. What a surprise. I think the majority of the scene would have ranked she, she here as the first one to lose. On the other side, in big events, WFC oftentimes disappoints. And that's what happened here today again. But yeah, really, really surprised with what Shishi is doing. And yeah, this was, this was life's game though.
He won every single battle on the map. And now... Huh. He's about to be eliminated. It would be, if life turns this around, the youngest final in a long time. With a combined age of 42. She, she's a bit older, but still pretty young. 26, if I'm not mistaken. So here we go. Second map of this winner, Brahalua bracket final. Shushishi taking the lead one map away. But it's gonna be hard. Like, Zeppelin play on AI is possible. But we really don't see it that often. Oh, 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 aggro pulled on life's tree of life, uh, tree of, uh, look, what, um, engine of war, sorry. And there's so much damage. It's dead. It's dead. He's losing the, d I cannot believe this. This happened to him at GCS as well. And how in God's green earth are you supposed to do this now? Keeper first. And Huntress opening. I guess. Or? Is it a Huntress opening? Pardon now. Pardon versus Keeper. What an unusual start to the second match. Life lost quite a bit of resources here, of course. This is a spectacular day, as it seems. Engine of War here. With Keeper you can still go Archers, but it's just a little bit delayed. Still surprised to not see a Huntress. Or maybe he goes for um, the opening that he did on Amazonia with late Huntress. Or it's just Archers, Archers, Archers. On AI, we see it quite a bit that we see Engine of War mass Archers. Or just mass Archers. Without Engine of Wars and with a Naga second there. The thing is, the pickup potential now for Shishi is huge. While, what can life really do? Not too much. Mm. Yeah, with Searing Arrow, he can defend the squishy Keeper for a bit. But if he loses one or two Wisps, in addition to the Engine of War that he lost earlier, this is a huge, huge deal. And the first Entangled should usually be the first kill or didn't he get the last hit on it <clears throat> certainly interesting I like how life is reacting to this um, the orb has very good early game damage value the orb of fire I mean double engine of war Mass Huntress. Okay. Yeah, that is uh, what you're... What you can expect when you go Potom. Mass Huntress. But will he have the time? The deck of Shishi is a lot faster. For this Huntress to pay off in a push against a Night Elf base, you need quite a bit. Because they can be sniped with Entangle. You do have Moon Wells in your base to, pretend, uh, to protect yourself. Will Shishi have the time for his tier 2? Obvious answer would be Dryads. If he wants to skip on the Huntress Hall, he can go Talents as well. Tradition to Dryads then is easier though, for life. Because he has the Huntress Hall already, just, just in quotes, needs the tech. And he's holding on to a lot of mana, knowing that he doesn't have the damage to get a kill. So, life, are you all inning into this? Tech is halfway through and timing is the most important thing. Right now, fifth archer for Joshishi. But all the keeper has is Entangle. His right click damage is low. He has basically no sustain, no aura, no support, anything. And the damage on the bottom is already good. So last hit. Who's getting it? The bottom stole it! And that was so big! The item went to the keeper. But that's not the most important part. Experience is at this point. Because once he gets up to level 2, that is the True Shot Aura. And True Shot Aura with Huntress is amazing. We do have a lot of Archers now. And I don't think we have a Huntress soul. So this is going to be mass range. 
And with mass range, you can easily defend Huntress pushes. Normally. There is a certain timing for life where he, he can storm the base, distract a little on one side, storm the base, and delay the tier 2. But he can't rely on his Huntress for the longest part. Yeah, the knock 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 is uh, from the Chinese streamer. I can't do anything about it. Otherwise, we have no in-game uh, sound. So life is kind of keeping him in his base. Ooh, he's using a lot of moon juice. Can the huntress actually win this? Moon juice is almost over. He starts to get the kill. Tinker second, which is of course also great. But he didn't get a lot of focus fire on the huntress, and he's losing so many archers. This was like the third one. Keeper is back, finally. But I think life hit the nail on the head with that timing to engage here. Five kills. Now he has to face double hero, though. And your protector is uh, not in the best position. And all archers are dead. No moon juice is left. And life's play with the shadow melt is great. This should be GG right here. Tinker falls, level up. True Shot Aura, Huntress just became a lot stronger. And it kind of felt like Shishu has had no idea what to do. Yeah, GG, Equalizer after, what was it? Five minutes? Uh, we didn't see the... the endgame picture there. But this might be the first time that I saw a Night Elf player winning a game after losing the Engine of War. This is so fun. This is like so weird how we had this long, worn out game with a lot of drama in the end. And here we had a pretty action packed start. And then, boom, he just finished it. <laughs> this was pretty poorly executed though by Shishi, I guess. Losing all the arches there. I mean, you can lure them into the base, I guess. Hide them behind the moon wells. Open field versus mass hunt. Great idea. Yeah, exactly. Holy shit, that was loud. Uh, we can't stream AWL. We couldn't do it for the past few seasons and can't do it here. Because we can't go to Africa TV. So we do have a third game for the second slot to the grand final, which will of course be 1-2-0 versus the winner of this upcoming map. 1-2-0 with the 1-0 advantage, but it's a best of 5. So we load in into map number 3. Life 1, Shishi 1, who is taking the third color, I guess, in the thir third match. Yes. So Shishi in the upper right must have been quite devastated, but it really felt uninspired, like having this early game momentum for him. With a Demon Hunter, can he defend it easier? He didn't get too much, like, especially the first Keeper attack accomplished nothing, like literally nothing, not a single Wisp, zero experience. Then he gets the big Ogre stolen. He is trapped in his own base with his archers because he can't fight in an open field. And then he does fight in an open field, gets AP rushed, and that's it. Having no Huntress Hall himself, of course, prevents him from... from going APs, which would have helped a lot. So I think this mass range... Not the brightest idea. And Shishi's going for the Keeper again. 
this time. Ah, <laughs> he builds an engine of war in his opponent's base, which is, of course, uh, unprotected, with the engine of war of life being at the merchant. Usually in Night of Mirror, both place their engines of war at the merchant to get level 2 and a consumable. Now, life will be distracted. He has to fight the engine of war. This will delay his creeping a little, and then the keeper will be there. Interesting opening once again. So, on this map, I th pretty surely know that Shishi loves talents. Maybe he's rushing talents with this distraction, but Keeper makes not too much sense. Rather, mass range again. But even then, I think the Keeper is not too great. Because you never have this momentum, uh, or the map control, where you dominate your opponent. I mean, of course, Entangle is nice and all, but a Demon Hunter is too... Tanky, the archers are not a big loss. So at least he keeps the demon hunter low. But with wisps there. Okay, he steals experience. But is that the biggest thing to do? He will he still has the second engine of war at the shop. So he should be able to creep that. First experience for Shishi here. And the item getting a close up attack, which is nice. And not mana burn. That's the most important thing, I guess. Now he has uh, still three and tangles to work with. And yeah, tier 2 on the way. Tier 2 on the way for life as well. And the engine of war did what he was supposed to be. Distract and keep the demon hunter away from the shop. We do have three archers now. We do have the AOW in position. He can go for the green spot and the natural expansion. Without losing too much HP. But he is losing HP and therefore losing Moon Juice, so it's not the best creeping for life. But he plays it pretty conservatively, and he should, because the Keeper will be there with the first Arches now. And with a little bit more damage, now that he has the Claws of Attack. So question now for both players is... Huntress Hall or not? As I said, pretty sure for Shishi the answer is no. He gets a second kill. So almost another one that happened. Another entangle here before the next mana burn arrives. He's still detected thanks to this entangle, but the keeper is forced into a TP. Nice wisp block, but he gets uh, the archers. So two archers dead, plus a creep for the town portal, and that's nice because he didn't lose anything. He, without the hunter soul, is reliant on the early mid game. Life not so much. If I protect. Uh, Predict this correctly, that life will go the normal way. And the Keeper is level 2 with this. The most important thing is Demon Hunter not level 2 and he doesn't have the big consumable. Like, a big heal potion in the early can win you games because you can just push so 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 much. And be aggressive all the time. Should be a shop right there, right? Life sees the army movement, knows that he can basically do whatever he wants right now. Six archers. Ooh, this could be dangerous. He lures out the creeps. He shouldn't commit anything to it. I don't know if he sees it. That life is there as well. Damage is good. Naga second. Damage for him is way better. And Chishi can't reach for the Naga. He can't go for the tavern. So the damage output is significantly higher. But the Entangle. Oh no. Forced to the town portal immediately. Good reaction by Shishi right there. To shut down this push. Where he was on the receiving end for sure with that Naga. Double engine of water. Mass range for both. So rare to see. They prior differently. Mass for Shishi. Uh, tier 3 earlier for life. So we're gonna have master training earlier. For the young gun that is life. 
Don't have agility. And there is the heal potion that I was talking about. Later on, of course, invo potion is better because it can't be cyclone. But until then, this makes up for so much damage. So you have to think about uh, focusing the demon hunter, but usually you leave him alone anyway. Is there still no tier 2 hero? For life. Naga is absolute key. Fork Lightning rocks against Talons. <laughs> Level up same same Scourge Bone Champs in this matchup absolutely useless. In case you're not transitioning. Hold on a second. No way! Ladies and gentlemen, in case you haven't seen this unit in the upper part of the screen, this is a Hippogriff Rider. And this is one of the very, very, very few times you will see it in competitive Warcraft. The only match I can remember... Or, like, there's a few matches of Sonic and Foggy that I can remember the, where they were used. But he's going into air against Talons. This is gonna be interesting. The bottom, of course, buffs their damage a little, but they barely do any damage. They're flying, of course, but with the Adept training, Talons can fly as well, as Crows. And they do magic damage, which is nice. And you have to unload the archers, but you have sick anti-air then. This could be a strategy win for Shishi, but there's still a few archers. TH versus Yumi WCA? Yeah, of course. 2016 WCA. With the Dark Ranger, right? If I remember this correctly. When will life see this? Of course he has Engine of Winds himself. Maybe he has just one. Oh, oh, Book of the Dead. Well, there's Chris. But it's decent enter here. I am so curious how this will end up. Second engine of war. He has good defense. He sees the hippogriff now. Did he see it before? Is he aware? In an ideal world he can snipe so many units, but they're all anti-air as well. He has a berserker, he knows, and a tinker. Tinker thing seems a bit counterproductive because he can't attack air. I mean, cluster rockets can, but that's about it. Can he get a double kill with this entangle? But it helps breaking the base, and he gets the double kill. And that's what this pocket factory is for. What does he want to do against the archer? Demon hunter would be, of course, a thing, but he doesn't have that one. Naga would also be an option, but he doesn't have that one either. So, Sh Shishi, are you running into a dead end? Your supply stuck. Usually... The hippos are supposed to be massed. There are quite some pickups here with the entangle. So he does, I guess, what he can to diminish the numbers. Engine of War is buying quite some time. Heal scroll will help a lot. But the mana will be empty soon. Keeper of the Grove, anyway, not a fighting hero, more of an in between fights hero. Crystal ball, by the way, level four for him. And now Shishi is going into the base, sniping some wisps, most likely, defending with a keeper alone. And so far, that is kind of working. But until this point, life could produce so much, and sooner or later, this keeper will die. And what does he want to do against Blinks? He can't snipe reinforcements. Oh, there's three hippos. Wait. He isn't just sniping the tree. Forces the town portal with piercing damage hippogriff riders. That's a new one. Not the worst play, actually. 
not the worst play. Two shot aura should be level two. No, level one. But that damage is pretty insane. So he chose Searing Arrow over Aura. If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> we have mass air in the Night Elf Mirror. Second rat spot, but this time he gets intercepted. He has to unload the archers, otherwise he can never win this air fight, as you see. Hippogriffs wreck air. Any air. Hippogriffs riders doesn't. Or don't. This keeper play is so good. And now the tinker could be fall. Okay, there's no mana for another entangle. He's getting a lot of kills though. And this tinker surely falls. Can he get away with his keeper though? Looks like it. There should be a staff. No, there's no staff on the bottom. He's playing with fire. Ah, there was a healing. Okay. And he's going for the Naga as well, but has to evacuate a little. Man, she, she plays this so smart. So far. Crystal Ball helps, of course, a little with control and map vision. He needs more levels. His heroes become so much stronger. Like, Thorn's aura in an air versus air battle is so sick. Wait, he doesn't have Thorn's aura. Right? I don't think he does. No, he skilled Treants. This would be the best thing to have right now. That's five damage reflected on level one. He could think about reskilling the keeper. Team Sexy is not a big fan of the aura because it's Searing Arrow 2. Tinker not bad yet, uh, back yet. Talents, he stopped production of them. Can actually be quite good with Fury Fire and Crow Form magic damage. Is he going for Thorns too? He's using Treants to creep. When there's only two more creep spots on the map for him. This part of him is insane. Boom, level four. I don't think heal scrolls are that important yet because it's gonna be a lot of one shot action. Single target damage. Not all over the place, it's in bare mirror. So you can skip that at least to a degree. She, she still below 50. Quite far below 50, actually. The time for the hippos is most likely over. We're having six hippos. I mean, the, the time for the hippogriff riders are over. He's forcing the second town portal with the go on the tree because it was never fully healed. That's 350 gold gone. Man, what a series between those two. You can really feel there's a lot of, uh, on the line. And she seemingly prepared quite well. Has a thousand two hundred gold and it's not spending it. He must be transitioning into something. But what? Mass bears? Did he really go the long way for bears? We haven't seen his base in a while. No. What is he waiting for? Orb is nice. But that's about it. Actually, just mass archers could work now. There's not much AoE. Plus Elune's Grace. Oh, Anti-magic shuttle, I like that. So he can't be slowed. And can he just 
Right click on the Demon Hunter, gets another Entangle, forces the big potion, but the Talents are blocking. Can he escape? There should be a staff right now. Okay, and now he's pushing into... Oh, he's finally spending his gold. Cyclone being used, and he is pretty much out of position. But there must be a staff on the bottom. Yep, there is. So, with Engine of War support, with piercing damage over Talents, can he win this? Oh, the Demon Hunter is forced into another TP. Third one of the game. Just a thousand gold gone, but he's he banked a lot, so he can't afford it. No expansion on neither side. Cyclone makes uh, Shichi's game a lot harder, though. He has a level five keeper. If he, yeah, this is an insta kill. The keeper is sick right now. He got so many single kills without taking a real fight. This keeper deserves his level 5 for sure. Life, what can you do? He has the Ryan counter to the hippos, but seemingly no idea what to do against the heroes. He's killing his own. What? Life just TP'd out. Uh, life just gave it up? I am baffled. Why do you give this up? The keeper was very strong. But can't the demon hunter make up for it? I have zero idea what is going on in life's mind right now. And she she is in the grand final. Potom keeper combo though, very interesting to see, very strong, but the hippogriffs didn't accomplish anything except this one time they went for the Tree of Life and bought time. I don't... I don't think the Keeper is unbeatable. If you can't burn him, he had quite a bit of gold. Anti-Magic Potion, yeah, Anti-Magic Potion helps. It's gonna be tough. This, uh, yeah, I I kind of need to ask some people what went on there. We have our grand final. It's one to zero versus the surprise of the day, Joshishi. We have a best of five. The undead is having a one zero lead, and we will see that grand final in a little bit. So stay tuned. Here, the fifth player for Masses Colosseum will be confirmed in this best of five. So be right back. <laughs> 